every single working day of my professional life, I'm seeing people who are dealing with infections. Hospital-acquired infections are still a big problem around the globe. And it's just been a growth curve like that. Well, I guess it was like that, and then in the recent 20, 30 years, it's been up like that. To give you a perspective of the situation regarding healthcare-acquired infections, um, certainly uh, the impact is tremendous in, uh, in, in individual patients as well as to the healthcare system in general. The numbers are really frightening. In the United States, the number is a 1 in 20 risk of developing an infection just from being admitted to hospital. Some countries are better than others at controlling hospital-acquired infections, but for the most part, hospital-acquired infections are still a great mystery. The bacteria around our patients in our healthcare facilities pose a potential risk, a risk that can be prevented. Is there a role for antimicrobial touch surfaces to be able to prevent infections? I think definitely yes. If you can get an almost perfect situation where everybody's washing, gowning, gloving, doing everything they're supposed to, you still are seeing infections. Copper has been known for centuries to have a profound antimicrobial activity. Copper is an adjunctive uh, way of reducing a patient's risk for acquisition um, of organisms and subsequent infection. It's all about touch. What people touch, what patients touch, and what healthcare workers touch. We want to put copper where people are commonly interacting with to break that chain of infection. If we're able to design into our healthcare facility uh, strategies that don't rely on human intention and human thought in a very busy environment, we're gonna make that environment safer. There is nothing out there that has the efficacy of, uh, of copper that is a practical engineering material. What we know about our material today, copper materials, is that it rises heads above anything that's out there because we know that there are a lot of touch surfaces that can kill pathogens, but the amount of time that it takes to do it is far beyond what you and I would want to provide me with a good, healthy application. Antimicrobial copper is exciting to me because it's because of its ability to con to be continuously active. We went into the existing rooms in the ICU units of three hospitals. We measured where the bacteria were, prioritized the surfaces, and converted those to copper. And we ended up with things that were closest to the patient were the most contaminated. The arm of the bed, uh, the over the patient table, uh, the arms of the visitors' chairs, etc. Nurses' call button, and those are the types of components we, we converted over to copper. And the adjacent room had non-copper components in it, and we compared that, and that gave us this 87% reduction. It has been documented, and these, these research findings have been presented, that the amount of bacteria, the concentrations of that bacteria around the highest risk patients are significantly reduced. We have strong evidence that it works in vitro. We have strong evidence that suggests that it's reduced the environmental burden. And we know from the literature that the environment does indeed represent a risk to the patient. Our real challenges are to engage the people that make the components that go into the hospitals and engage the designers of hospitals to uh, make the recommendations and take the chances and produce these products that would be utilized in these, in these uh, settings to, uh, to help hospitals uh, uh, control infections and, and, and reduce costs and ultimately save lives. We've just started. We've proven through good science that copper can do what we want it to do. But most of the, of the public around the world has no idea. So what we have done is to create a mark to identify materials made from antimicrobial copper. 
The mark can be used by product manufacturers to assure their customers and the general public that their products are continuously killing bacteria that cause infections. Well, you see these types of products everywhere. You see them in schools. Even like the railings in, in hospitals could easily be railings in mass transit systems, again, where, where germs are spread. These are products everywhere uh, that we use every day. And they're, again, they're a big, big source for cross-contamination. So uh, I think it's a low-hanging fruit to start within the healthcare community, but I can easily see that spread to other markets. I would like people, the men on the street, ultimately to be able to recognize what a copper alloy is and say, oh, it, it's reddish or yellowish. It, that means it's safe to touch. If I'm sick, I want to go to the hospital where they have copper alloys. I see antimicrobial copper as being a continuous reminder to me as a healthcare worker around a vulnerable patient that I have to do everything possible I would see a visible commitment by the institution to protect that patient, a commitment that I have to join as a healthcare worker. We're not claiming that all you have to do is put in copper alloys and your problems will be solved. We're saying we are part of the solution and we could be a very significant part of that solution.